guys work for the people who own it? No. Okay. No. Unfortunately, you guys are trespassing now. All right. So we've arrived at this hotel, and you can see quite literally everything is left behind in here. The rooms are all still furnished. This appears to be untouched. I see someone threw some chairs in the pool there. There's a couple deck chairs and just regular lawn chairs. I just can't believe it's all, everything's just left here. Like this place has been completely trashed. I'm worried about squatters though. A common concern when visiting hotels like this one is definitely squatters. Now maybe you don't visit abandoned motels as often as I do, but anytime I prepare for an urbex road trip, I want to be as safe as possible. And one thing a lot of people neglect to protect is their network. That's where our sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN, can help. When I'm on the road, I often find myself connecting to lots of different public Wi-Fi that might not be the safest. But with Surfshark VPN's fast and secure protocols and strong encryption, I know that I'll be safe on any public internet source across unlimited devices. It's also a great way for you to get around online geo restrictions. YouTube video not available in your area? Change your online location with the click of a button via Surfshark VPN. Netflix show not available in your country? Change your online location with the click of a button via Surfshark VPN. I use all of these great features every day to improve my online experience both on the road and at home. Surfshark VPN is also being super generous right now and offering 83% off to anyone who purchases a 24 month plan, along with an additional three free months if they use the promo code UNCHARTED at checkout. I've had my info stolen before and it's definitely not a good time. So consider protecting yourself with Surfshark VPN today. Now back to the video. Thank you. Someone was living here and was evicted. Yeah. Like what do you mean? I am. Someone was living here long term, and then when the hotel closed, they were essentially just kicked out immediately. Oh, you think that they, they were doing like monthly rentals or something? That's, I'm almost positive. Jeez. This was someone's life when I get a hotel. You're quiet. You're the car. Yeah, eerie. These rooms still have everything in them. So the lobby we go. Yeah, everything's wide open, which is like... And relatively untouched. Yeah. Some. Aside from mild vandalism, but... Ooh, a musty smell for sure. Hello? 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 Yeah, I'd be very... Surprised if we didn't run into a squatter. What is this? Oh, just like old storage and the electrical here. <laughs> they had like old this pot lights. Oh no, the fan units. Is that all just like old chairs? Oh yeah, they have like everything here. Some bits and bobs. These trees all have like Christmas lights on them here. Kind of can date when it's a to when it was abandoned. Very interesting. I like this was probably like a business center or conference room, and you can see on the table here all the mold and mildew.
From what we could gather, this location operated as a motel and convention center with over 150 rooms. The three main motel buildings, along with the outdoor pool, were constructed in 1985. For an abandoned building to be this untouched, it definitely gave us an eerie feeling. And we all stayed on high alert for any potential squatters inside. Coming into this would have been like the front lobby here. And you can see Jake over the reception. Yeah. The location was sold to a developer in February of 2019 for $2.7 million. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, development of the property is completely halted and the building has remained empty ever since. Probably would have been a bar and maybe like a common area. Oh. <laughs> The drink dispenser still kind of works. If the water works, I wonder if the electrical also works. The water tab that I'm pushing here. Very cool. All the other buttons don't really work though. Oh my god, the water. The water actually still works at this place. Let me try the electrical. Okay, so the electrical's cut, but the water is still running. Looks like somebody tried to go to an effort of cleaning this up, but... Oh my god, look at all the... Is that... Oh, it's like sugar. Awesome. This would have been like the main restaurant or bar. For the hotel, you can see there's still all the booths and everything left behind. Probably had a TV mounted on that wall there. See a lot of these. Drawers still have stuff in them. Just like take out boxes and stuff. It says whistling kettle on it. Oh, you can see all like these beer kegs. Hofla Brewing, Pontoon Brewing. These were probably what fed the bar taps. Yeah, these are keg taps right here. You can see they would have fastened onto. Still full. Blood orange weed ale. There's still <laughs> still beer in that. They have unopened glass bottles of Voss. Four of them just sitting here. Oh yeah, they still have like full drinks. That's a full can of cider right there. I'm just amazed at how much stuff is left behind. They had booths and everything set up here. It's all just untouched, just covered in mold and dust. This is a big facility. You can see out here they would have had a very nice sort of outdoor seating area. I don't want to poke my head out too much because there's a very busy road out there. But 
then moving back into here. You can just see this would have been the front area of the restaurant. Oh my God, it continues on over to here. There's even more. In 2011, the property was updated. Along with the renovations came the addition of this traditional steakhouse, which contained a seating capacity of over 250 people. Little phone, even like old menu inserts. The wine list. Very cool that their banquet menu. Through that one tiny crack, a root Holy got in. Holy crap. And it's been growing through the... Yeah, like on the, the glass. Yeah. There's been additional seating here. The chairs, tables, all the furnishings are all still here. After years of neglect, the property has now started to decay. It currently is listed for $6.3 million, but with no eager buyers, this motel and steakhouse sits abandoned, slowly falling to copper thieves along with the elements as the days go by. It's actually a pretty decently sized conference center or banquet hall here. I'd say it's probably the size of a, maybe a little bit smaller than a school gym for reference. Uh, you can see the some wires and the drop ceiling is starting to fall down or come off, but other than that, like everything's in, structurally, it's in good shape. Oh, and this would have fed into the banquet hall here. Distilled wine, flavored vinegar, interesting. I wonder if these were like deep freezers. Please don't be smelly. Oh my. <laughs> oh, so this is where the soda dispenser fed to. I wonder if it had anything. Well, it made a hissing sound, but I don't think it's hooked up. Oh yeah, this would have been like the main kitchen for the restaurant. Oh, gotta watch my step. God, the flooring is decayed. My foot just like sunk through the floor. So in the pickup area and heating area, you can see these hot lights here that would have kept the plates warm as the chefs cooked them. And a lot of their glassware here. See, they got full crates of them. Leading us into this office. I wonder if this was the dishwashing station. And it 
looks like we got some natural light coming from here. Oh yeah, you can see there's a hole in where the air vent was for this uh, stove. I don't know what it is, but there is something in here. So I'm going to open it up. Oh my god. Oh, so I think somebody put this giant cooler here to collect rainwater from the opening. Oh my god, it reeks back here. Holy. Yeah, you can see some various items left on the shelves here. Having not been serviced for just over three years, it would take a lot for this location to become fully functional again. It was still relatively untouched by vandals with the exception of some parts, and we would soon learn why. This leads back into that main lobby area that we had seen earlier. You can see some of the original sofas. This was probably like a lounge of sorts and then another entrance to the restaurant there. Yeah, I don't know, there's something on the side of his car, but should be careful that he doesn't see us. Hello? Hey, man. Not too bad, how about you? Oh, we're just taking some pictures of this property, seeing what's going on. We're photographers from... You guys work for the people who own it? No. Okay. No. Unfortunately, you guys are trespassing now. Okay. Yeah, we, we can get out of here. Okay. Yeah, no problem. We're just sawed on the side of the road. We're photographers. We like, you know, decaying looking buildings and whatnot. I can understand that. Yeah. Yeah, just see what's up. They hire us to make sure no one comes in here and gotcha. does anything, so... Is there a big problem with people trespassing here? Uh, Really? Destroying it. It didn't used to look like this, but over really? time people have just come in and destroyed it just for shits yeah. and giggles and stealing the As copper kids do. and all kind of crazy stuff. So. Yeah, I saw through the windows there that people were, I mean, someone's living here. Yeah. People have oh, yeah. come yeah. here at night or something, right? Yeah. And we can't be here 24-7, so they get in, but we for sure, try yeah. to show up every once in a while to keep it yeah. good so they can sell it. So. Do you know uh, Do you know what what's happening here? They, uh, they were going to turn it into... I think another hotel and restaurant really? combo, but the guy who bought it bought it sight unseen, mm. and COVID made his plans fall through. Right. So now he's just trying to get rid of it again. How long has this been closed for? Two or three years. Oh yeah! Wow. Yeah. Jeez. And over that time, it's yeah, that's significant, complete, man. Yeah, complete done. People scrapping and yep. coming in. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of water crazy. damage too. Oh yeah, all over the place. That's, oh, so you guys saw the rooms back there? Yeah, yeah, we did. We did kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's bad. So. <laughs> All right, we well, we'll get out of your hair. We're here to break anything. Oh, no, you're yeah. fine. We just, nobody's supposed to be back here. I wish oh, they'd put okay, up sorry. signs or, or to block the road so people can't yeah. come back here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They pay us, but I'm like, it'd be cheaper to just put cones in front of the, the driveway. They yeah. they pay the police department to? Really? Yeah. They pay wow. us to make sure people don't come in here and destroy it. Mm. Oh, jeez, yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we'll get out of here. All right, Thanks, man, I appreciate yeah, it. Have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thankfully, the officer was understanding and let us go as long as we left the property. As of today, this motel still sits abandoned, with a price tag of more than double the land value. Because of this, the motel will probably continue to decay for a very long time. Thank you for watching.